Thank you, Tony. Any questions on that? All right, Ed Powell, would you like to talk about the meet the casino night, please? Yes. I mentioned it earlier, what, what our plans are and were. We're meeting every Monday night. We have been for the last six weeks. This Monday, 5.30, we're going to meet at the Marriott. Danielle has uh, said if we come over there, she might help us with a couple little things. But... Rick, I'll buy some food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> buy some, we we well, supply the drinks, they'll supply the goodies. That's a gimme. But you're, you're all welcome to come over there. We probably had six or eight steady volunteers. We can use more. The push now is raffle stuff. Danielle, it, it right out of the box, saw what we were doing Tuesday and went ahead and got us a Doubletree night or two in Key Largo, Key West. Key West. And she's looking at uh, Hampton or Marriott. But that's the kind of stuff that, that makes great raffle prices. Oil changes. People that you deal with, go back to them and say, how would you like to throw in $100 or how would you like to throw in a car wash or anything that you buy from somebody there open to, it's your turn to kick in some stuff. There's going to be some nice little things that raffle prizes. We can use all we can get. And our committee said, how do we get everybody to participate? We said, and we took to the executive committee, that to I want to make a motion that all MAC members will be charged with and invoiced for four casino night tickets. Now, the tickets are 15 for single, 25 for couple. How do we do that? We'll tell you what. We assume that for four tickets, you're going to bring two couples. That's $50 rather than 60 So we're going to give every MAC member a $10 break on purchasing four tickets. You can use them. You can give them away. You can donate them to the military. Whatever you want to do with them. Can I have a motion and a second for that? I'll second if that's the motion. Second. Any discussion? Discussion, pro, con? Yeah. Fifth? Yeah, we need to get y'all to support this thing. This is going to be a big thing. We're going to do this thing annually. We need another money maker, and that's what this is going to be. Uh, we're hiring a company to do it. We're going to do it very professionally. Uh, as most of you know, the Speedway has given us the Champions Club, no cost to us, um, just to, to support what we do here. And we need to get some people involved. And we figure this is one of the ways to get full participation is give every member four tickets worth 50 bucks and do with it what you want. Well, I, I brought up at the meeting, I was a little uncomfortable being billed uh, once again for something. I know when we do that for, what is it, the golf tournament? And, yeah, you know, it's it's, uh, it's difficult for some people to, to participate every once in a while. So, you know, I just put it on the table that for me, I don't, you know, I'll volunteer to, to sell for. I don't have a problem with that. But for it to be billed to me is, I don't know, I'm a little uncomfortable with it. Right, Kurt? Well, and the way I understand it is the four tickets that you're giving to everybody, they can resell them. They can sell them the tickets. That was the original intent, <laughs> that you'd be responsible to sell the tickets. Whatever they want to do with them. So it's not like you have to eat the 50 bucks. You can sell them. Yeah. Chris? Yeah, I'll bring up the, the same notion that Jonathan brought up. Because we do ask people, every single one person here who's not a sponsor, to give that money for the golf tournament. Now, if everyone, if everyone here ideally can get sixty dollars worth of tickets sold, say, or if not, that they then sell one of one actually participate, that's great. But I do have a problem myself with the invoice and with the invoice part because when if we're now doing two fundraisers a year, we're talking doing a third one, which is a well twelve cost of the walk. Are we going to start invoicing everyone for every single thing? I mean, that's just the point to bring up. I'm sorry, Mister. Well, let, let's let's look at the two. You've got a golf tournament, a hundred dollars. What do you get for that? You get a sign spot this big, and you don't you don't get in, you don't play. That, that's all you get. Fifty dollars, you go to a casino night for four hours. You have fun. You you meet all your friends. You bring all your neighbors, whatever it is. And two star general Binger has told us he will be there at that event for us for the MAC. Now, if MAC people want to get involved with the military. That is 100% way to do it. A general, two-star general that comes here to be part of that event, if you don't want to go there and be recognized or you be part of it, that's too bad. That's, that's my two cents. Yeah, let me say yes. something about the, about the, the golf committee. Because it's a 
complete misunderstanding with that thing. If you don't want to spend a hundred bucks to get a single sign at the golf committee, then join the damn committee. And then you don't pay a hundred bucks. Uh, the option uh, 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 wait a second, we have to pay a hundred dollars. We're the committee too. I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> we were there. Everybody like, committee members. Members. We, everybody you have, if you're on the golf committee, you still have to participate financially. It's if you don't participate financially in some way, by a team or a sponsorship, then we are going to make you a sponsor and put you on a hole, a tee hole for a hundred dollars. That may be the way you want to look at That's it. That's the way we've been doing it. That's the way we've been doing it. That's the way that it's been approved for several years now. Yeah, okay, let's call it. I made the motion. You were there. I was there. That was Ron's idea was Yes, it was. No, yeah, okay, let's, let's stay with the. All right, guys, come on. No, I, I've got, I've got the flyers for the meet and greet. I would love for you to get them distributed around. I've been trying to take them around with Chrome and some other places, but I'll put them in the back. Get them out if you would. Anyway, more, any more discussion about the motion? Could you, could you go over that again? What, what if the fifty dollars does? It gives you four tickets. You get four tickets. Okay. And they are. It normally cost you sixty. The right? ticket is fifteen dollars. Way it reads, civilian. Fifteen dollars single, uh -huh. twenty-five for a couple. Uh -huh. Four tickets. How do you do that? Well, if there were four singles, that's sixty dollars. Right. We're saying, let's assume you're couples. Two couples. That's twenty-five twice. That's fifty dollars. And to me, little angels. If you all remember casino nights at, at Keysgate Country Club, we packed that place. We had forty guys playing Texas Hold'em. We made thirty and forty thousand dollars that one night, and everybody had fun. That's what you can make with a casino night. And that's what we're trying to do. And you have fun doing it. You, you spend $50, or maybe 25 if you sell it to another couple, and you have fun. And you got a chance to win. If you win funny money, there will be raffle prizes at the end. Your raffle tickets are worth so much per increment. And you put them in a the little bucket for what you want to bid on. And we're going to have, hopefully, I don't know, Sharon will do a, Weekend, uh, we've got we've got hotel stays, oil changes, uh, tune-ups, whatever. They're nice little raffle prizes. So if you have anybody like that, they'll get recognition. They'll get their name on the raffle prize. We'll put them out there when we advertise. We're going to do six mailings to five six hundred people that come to the meet and greet. The chamber said they will send out their to their four or five hundred. So we're going to have a thousand plus people see this, and I've already sent out this every one of you. If you read your emails, you all have this. Plus, you have a sponsor letter. All right. So if I get billed for if I buy agree to buy the four tickets, I'm going to get recognition on emails and on, and that's something at the at the event. Sure. Why? why I mean, that's what we're saying. A raffle. If you put in a raffle prize, it will be on. It'll be on. Obviously, the raffle ticket. Yes. Edward, there's also bingo for those that aren't with, for lack of a better term, are not hardcore gamblers, and I'm certainly not. But the bingo, I have no problem with. In fact, the Homestead Power Squadron is going to be doing the bingo. Right. We, we, I remember that as well, the Power Squadron. And I said, why don't you do that? They've got the machine and all that stuff. And, and if you look here, it's for $10, you get five games the bingo. And each, win, each game, whoever wins that gets a $10 voucher. So I'm saying we need 10 people to start or we're going to lose money. But bingo's a lot of fun. When we do it the Power Squad, we get 40, 50 people to come and play bingo. So it's fun for everybody. Any, yes? When does the ticket to be distributed? Because we're not going to meet again until the 11th. Or the, well, it's here, like the 12th. We, we thought we could get a, a we had finally today gotten a, a logo from the sponsor of the tickets. If, if he would, they would have come to us yesterday, they would have been on, they're being, uh, they're being, uh, put, uh, printed right now. Claire's doing them right now. I got an email that we finally got the logo for the sponsor. So in the back of that ticket, it'll have the sponsor and whatever they're, they're going to do, discount or whatever. I, every one of you has four tickets and a serial number dedicated. I've got that done. So if we agree we're going to do that, I, you will get your little four tickets. You've already, I've already got them serialized. How are going to get them? Are you going I'll to deliver them to you. I'll walk them to you. Tell me where. You can leave them at the entrance. As long as you've got the serial number, you should be able to pick them up at the entrance and get them. Unless you want to sell them. Before yeah, you, you want to get them. Right. Then you have to put some names on those when see, you get See, there. the other thing we need to do is we could potentially have 500 people. Somebody said, nah, they're, 
We've had 500 people. We have said to Americon, we're going to do snacks, 200 people. Well, 400 show up, we're in trouble. The other thing is casino, or the Texas Hold'em, it's a $260 per table, which you put nine guys at. Well, we're trying to get these guys in advance so we know what we've got. Well, if we've got 45 players, we'll get two more tables. If we've got 59 players, we'll get another table. So, the, at least the 50, we know we've got that commitment. We've got 200 tickets somewhere to somebody. Now, if they don't show up, we've got 200 tickets sold. Over and above that, uh, it's just raffle stuff. It's Texas Hold'em. It's whatever you want to do. And we, we're told that... Uh, Jay Rourke has told us that a general contractor, Des Moines Group, they're doing the bridges around the airport, I guess. They're going to give us $5,000 for the tournament as a, as, a, as a casino night sponsor. <coughs> We've got a ticket sponsor for $1,500 committed. So, and we, we did, we're still looking at a couple other sponsors. We've got other food and beverage, whatever you want. But how about uh, any more discussion on the... All right, we got a motion, we got a second. All in favor? Raise your right hand, left hand. Somebody want to count? Am I allowed to count, Mr. Chair? Yeah, you can count. Just check. I don't give you count. All right, any opposed? Am I allowed to vote? No, you're allowed to vote. All in favor. Motion carries. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. See you on the 12th. Okay, Corey Gold.